Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today I have update number two for my 24 in 2024. So basically last November, I think it was, I picked 24 items that I wanted to work on and finish up this year. I do update this quarterly, but you guys see a lot of these items in my regular project pans and also I will roll them in occasionally into my other projects like my project 10 uses or my deck of panning. So you guys will see some of these items and some of these items too you just saw in my project pan that went up on the 5th. So sorry for some of the repeats, but we do have a couple rollouts and some really great progress. This makes me even more excited about my update number three because we will see a lot of these things getting finished up in the third quarter of the year. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let me go ahead and I have all of my products here. I have my differences. I have graphics. I have B-roll that shows the comparisons. I have lots of fun little visual updates for you guys. So let me go ahead and get everything organized and we will go ahead and get into update number two for my 24 in 2024. Okay, so for a quick refresher, I'm going to go over the four items that I used up in the first quarter, and then we'll go over the two empties that I have for the second quarter. So first quarter, I did use up my Makeup Geek liner. This is just a nude liner. I use this on like my inner rim. I really did enjoy this formula, but I don't know if it was old because it broke a lot, but Makeup Geek is no longer a brand, so you can't purchase this anymore. But I did use up this liner. The next item that I used up was my NYX Glitter Glue. This is an eye primer that I use every single day for my shimmers because I do have oily lids. So I was able to get this done. And the fun fact about this one that it was like 443 uses to finish this eye primer. So the new one that I have is going to last me a very long time. The next item that I used up was the Soul Body Bronzer. This is the cream bronzer from ColourPop slash Soul Body. I do have this in the shade of light. And for this one, I got a total of 206 uses on this one. I do have another one of these that I'm currently using up in my collection. So this is definitely a holy grail status product. The last item that I used up in the first quarter of the year was my Shiseido Synchro Skin. This is the Radiant Foundation. I did get a total of 105 uses off of this foundation. Those were my marks on the side. I did do this in my project pan earlier this year, and so this was my first foundation empty for the year. Very exciting, but this was in my 24 in 2024. So those are my four items that I used up in the first quarter. Now let's look at what I was able to do in the second quarter. I do have two empties, and then the rest are progress items, which again, only having six empties halfway through the year is a little bit scary, but I will show you my progress on the rest of my items and you guys will see I'm doing very, very well. So the first empty, and I only have the packaging for this one, but this is my Benefit Blush in Dallas. You guys would have seen me finish this up in my deck of panning and I'll make sure to link that up in the eye and down below so that you guys can see the progress of me using this blush up. I think it only took me an additional like 27 uses to use this blush up and I am very excited because this was my oldest blush that I had purchased in 2017 so this one needed to go. Now just for S and G's shits and giggles. I try not to cuss on my channel, but hey, just for S and G's, I went back in my book and I looked up, I started tracking my progress and my uses in 2021. But again, this blush is from 2017. So from 2021 to now, the amount of tracked uses I had on this blush 
were 359 tracked uses starting in 2021. So we definitely can say that blushes last a very long time. This was one of my favorite blushes and I reached for it all the time. So in the past 21, 22, 23, 24, half of 24, so three and a half years, I used this 357 times. Now our differences in weight between the first quarter and the second quarter, I used up an additional 0.5 four grams of product to be able to use up my Benefit Dallas. On the B-roll that I am showing, I do have a kind of picture of the empty pan that I ended up having with this blush, but I have since already like cleaned the pan out and kind of put it back into my back stock of empty pans. So I don't have the actual pan to show you, but it would have popped up on my B-roll. So happy to have one of my two powder blushes done for the year. That is a huge accomplishment. And then my second empty, you guys would have just seen this in my Project Pan video, but it is one of my Juvia's Place bronzers. So I had the Light Duo, I depotted them and I put them in these Makeup Geek compacts. This was the more cool tone shade and it is completely gone. So with this one here, from last update to this update, I did use up a total of 4.29 grams of product and total uses, I got a total of 114 uses on this bronzer to use it up. So I used this up on June 27th. And so I just started using the other bronzer on July 1st, and I'm filming this on the 4th, so happy Independence Day to everybody in the US. But uh, hopefully you are keeping your puppy dog safe because so many dogs go missing on 4th of July and on New Year's because of the fireworks. So please, please, please keep your puppy dog safe. I cannot say that enough. It breaks my heart every single time I see how many dogs run away from home because they're scared. So please keep the puppy dog safe and the kitties, because I know, of course, they get startled by the loud noises as well. But 114 uses on this. I am hopeful that since it took me the six months to use up this one, that it'll take me six months to use up the other component, the other bronzer in this duo, and that would be my two bronzers for the year. But I'll definitely show you that one because it's in this project as well. But those are my two additional empties. Let me hold this the right way. My two additional empties, so we're up to six. So let me put all my empties back in their little Ziploc bag that I keep them in in my empties bin, and then we'll go into my progress items because like I said, I have some really good progress. And I had my lip drawer open behind me this entire time. So forgive me for having my lip drawer open. I was getting my lip for the day, which is my Lawless Forget the Filler, which I just rolled into my project pan. I'm wearing that on my lips today, so I pulled that out of my drawer. But now my drawer is closed, so that will not be distracting to me in my monitor. So let's go ahead and look at the other, what, 18 products that are in this project and let's look at our amazing progress. So I'm digging around in a little container down here so you guys will probably hear products click clacking around. But the first item that we have on my list is this little mini elf primer. This is a pore primer and we are getting really far down there but still I feel like we have at least another couple months of use on this. I don't use it every day because I feel like I don't need that kind of poreless look every day. So I'm probably using this two to three times a week and our differences between last month or last update and this update, I've used 2.02 grams of this product. So, but we are super far down there and you'll see the comparisons popping up in my B-roll as well that I've done really good on using this. I'm not the hugest fan of this product and I will be happy when it's gone, but I'm not just going to declutter it for the sake of decluttering it. I will continue to use this. Even though it has a six month shelf life. Let's see, when did I first purchase this item? I purchased this in November of 2022. So we are definitely past our six month shelf life, but I continue to use this. But if you like a more silicone-y type of pore filling primer, this is what 
this is more akin to that. That is not my preference because I do have oily skin, but we are still trugging away at that one. Is that the right term, trugging, trugging away? We're still working on that one. The next item has not changed at all, and I will explain why in case you guys did not catch my last update, but that is my hard candy dropping it on the floor. Let me pick that up. Let's try that again. The Hard Candy Sheer MB Hydrating Primer. This is the makeup grip, and this does not play nicely with my current foundations that I'm using. So once I have finished those foundations, which I will show those to you shortly, and I have one rolled into my project pan and one rolled into my deck of panning, so you guys will be able to see the monthly progress on those. But um, this does not play nicely with those foundations. So once I'm done with those, I'm going to try this with my next round of foundations to see if this works. If it doesn't work with those foundations, I think this is going to have to be a declutter. I've already used up like three of my Jelly Pop primers for the year. And so I'm getting through my primers. It's just this was the one that I wanted to use up this year. But it's if it's not going to play nicely with my other products, I can't use it. So this one hopefully will have some progress in the third quarter and I can hopefully get it used up by the end of the year, but that has not changed. It's still at 31.77 grams. So not very exciting, but I have a reason why I'm not using it. The next two items are my foundations that I'm focusing on, and one of them is my Misha BB Cream, and this will look different from the um, B-roll and also from my project pan or no no my deck of panning because I have continued to use it so it is getting thinner and thinner and it's starting to twist in on itself because there's so little product left in here but I do love this as a mixer I think this is my second or third one that I've gone through and so I this will probably be a constant repurchase in my collection but like I said I rolled this into my deck of panning for a long haul product and I am very excited about seeing how shrunken down this packaging is getting. But between last update and this update, I have been able to use 14.87 grams of this product. So love this, constant repurchase, and I am using it up prior to the expiration date, so the SPF is still good in here. This is good until the 28th, of July. So as long as I can finish up the rest of this before the end of July, this the SPF is still holding strong in this one. So love this product. I probably won't repurchase it for a little bit because I have another skin tint that is in my collection. And so that is how I'm feeling about Misha. But this is almost almost done i was hopeful to get it done before the like middle of the year whenever i did my inventory and that was thunder and that is the dogs barking so maybe if it's raining and thundering maybe people will be a little bit calmer with the um fireworks we are very close to alabama so if you go over the state line to Alabama, you can get the big fireworks. It, the big fireworks, you can't sell in Florida, but you can sell them in Alabama. So 20 minute drive up to Alabama, you can get your fireworks. So typically we have some pretty epic firework displays up here in the country. So we shall see, but that was thunder. So you guys will probably hear thunder <laughs> throughout the rest of this video. And the dogs are click clacking because one or two of them do not enjoy the thunder at all. But I was flashing around my next product. So this is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Natural Radiant Foundation. And I do have this in Cairo, in case you guys are similar to my skin tone. This is a decent match, but again, I always mix it with the BB cream, which lightens it up and makes it a little bit more cool tone and gray toned. But this is also getting super, super thin and down in this packaging. It's an air, airless pump, so of course all the air in the product is sucked out of there. That were, These are my marks that I'm tracking for my project pan and very excited about this almost being done. This doesn't have SPF on it, so it doesn't have an expiration date, so I'm not worried about that. But in 
between last update and this update over this past quarter, I've used 20.34 grams of this foundation. So lots of progress. And like I said, it is almost done. If these are still hanging around by the end of July, I will be super surprised. So great progress on these. And I'm hopeful that these will both be empties and excited about having two foundation empties for the year. Let's go into, oh, my foundation mixer. So I do have my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in Fair. And of course, there is my markings that I'm doing for my project pan. And I am, I've only used this a couple times because like I said, it's the fourth and I've worn makeup three out of the four days of this month so far. So I have used a little bit more of this compared to when I did my B-roll and when I did my pictures. But I do two dips in of this whenever I do my foundation and I have really good steady progress. I do feel like I'll be able to use up the rest of this over the next six months. I probably will even have to repurchase this during the like Black Friday time just so I can continue to have this product in my collection. But between the two quarters, I have used 6.15 grams of this product over quarter two. And so very nice, steady progress. At the end of this, of course, I do take the stopper out. I pull everything out. I scoop everything out so I get as much product as possible. Still thundering. So forgive, forgive the background noise. I know in editing sometimes I can drown out the background noise, but again, we have some pretty intensive thunderstorms here in Florida, but let me look up the radar actually and see what is coming our way. Oh, it's just a little pocket of a storm, but it's right overhead with lightning strikes. So that is what we're getting, but we're getting little dots and pockets of storms today, but we'll see how that goes for the fireworks and the festivities. Let's see, what is our next one? Oh, let me dig for this one and do the click clacks and then I'll show you the next product. So this is my Bobbi Brown corrector stick. And this one, I feel like it doesn't really go down on my tracking whenever I'm marking it. But on the B-roll, whenever I did the comparisons on the B-roll, I really saw the change in this product. And let me wipe it off so it doesn't look so gross for you guys. But I only have that much left. There is such a little nub. Now, I know you guys said last time that once this is flush with the packaging, I can dig out the rest of it and there's a lot of product left. I'm hoping that whatever's left in here will get me to the Black Friday time so I can repurchase this on a deal from Bobbi Brown. But this is just in light bisque. I enjoy the stick better than the pot. Um, I used up the pot concealer or pot corrector last year, and so I prefer the stick. You also get double the amount of product in the stick compared to the pot for the same amount of money. So um, I just love doing this as my final concealer step. I actually do put my corrector on top of my other concealers because I want the brightness, not, um, I don't want this being covered by my other concealer, but I kind of just do a little, little uh, right angle underneath my eyes and blend it out. And I love this product. It has lasted me so, so long. So again, great bang for my buck. But between the two quarters, I have used 0 0.38 grams. So like, what is that? Uh, a third of a gram, a fourth of a gram type of thing, but not a fourth. So what is that? It's a little bit over a third of a gram I've used in three months time. And I use this every single time I do my makeup. So I know I've been tracking this one since I started it. So once this is actually done, I'm so curious how many uses I will get total. And I will be able to actually compare that to the amount of uses I got on the pot concealer, the same variety, but in the pot, I'll be able to compare those two once I get this one used up. But great progress on this, love this product. It is a constant repurchase. It is a holy grail status in my makeup collection and makeup uses. So we got that. And then 
Next one is also a concealer. I've used up one of these last year as well, and this is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I do have it in creme brulee. This one is a little bit darker than my skin tone because I use this to cover my blemishes. So if it is lighter than my skin tone, I feel like it doesn't do a whole lot of like color correcting, but because it is kind of this peachy color, I feel like it does a really good job of canceling out some of the darkness of my acne spots that are healing or that are active at the time. But we have a huge dent in this product. I don't know if you guys will really be able to tell the dent that is in this. Let me see, will it show? I don't know, The light. I, my lights are not allowing me to show you guys the actual depth of this, but I am super close. Like. Oh, the sticker's in the way, but I'm super close to hitting the bottom of this concealer. So after it gets down to a certain point, I can't use my fingers anymore because it gets stuck underneath my nails, and that's like a pet peeve of mine is having makeup underneath my nails. So I do start using a brush, or I dip my, like, sponge, my DSMD Shop sponge straight into this and then blend it out on my blemishes. And so I feel like I pick up more product if I'm using a brush or a sponge compared to picking it up on my finger just because the brush and sponge kind of eat some of the product. But I'm doing really, really well on this. My comparison between the two quarters, I have used 1.39 grams of this. So a gram more of this concealer compared to my corrector, because again, I will use more of this depending on how my face is behaving. But love that product. I already did repurchase another one of those because they were 50% off during one of Ulta's sales. So again, holy grail status in my collection. Love it. I do suffer from hormonal acne and so once a month, acne pops up and then it takes two weeks to heal. So typically I have about a week of my face being like behaving. And actually my face is behaving right now. So this is my week that my face behaves and then we'll go right back into my hormonal acne acting up. But the next item that I have is, this is the Benefit Give Me Brow and Volumizing Pencil. So this is one that you sharpen. So I did sharpen it the other day. You guys can see if it focuses on the pencil and not me. There we go. So we just sharpen it. And I do have this in 3.75. And so this is, of course, in my brows. It'll take me over a year to use this. I had it in my brain that my um, ABH pencil, that I would be done with that one in like February, and I did not finish my ABH pencil until June. <laughs> so my ABH pencil lasted longer than I started using this, and I only have to sharpen this like once a week, and then I get like, it. this is going to last me a lifetime. So if I'm looking at my 24 and 2024, this will not be an empty by the end of the year. This will probably last me until next summer, but I'm just curious how long this will last me and how long I can get this to go because for, um, for me purchasing this for half price on brow day, um, if I can get a year out of a brow pencil that's half price, this will be the way to go. I really do like the color. I like the formula. I think that it deposits a little bit more color than my ABH pencil that I used historically. And so I, I mean, I would consider going back to this one and away from the ABH, but I still have a full ABH pencil in the, in backup to use. So I think I'm set for brows for like the next year and a half, which is crazy to me that two brow pencils will get me through a year, year and a half. But I just started using this in, let's see, I started using this in May. So I used my ABH one at like the end of May and I just started using this. So our differences between, I've been using it for two months, is 0 0.15 grams. This is going to last forever. So if you don't need like those hair-like strokes, if you have more hair in your brows like I do, and the only reason I do is I escaped the like thin brows of the 90s and I like plucking my brows is the most painful thing. Like if I was being tortured and somebody plucked my brows, I would give up everything. <laughs> like, so I avoided plucking my brows at all costs 
So that is how I have retained my brows into my 40s. But if you don't need those hair-like strokes and you just need to deposit color and kind of like define the brow a little bit, this is a wonderful product and it'll last you forever. So that's how I feel about my brow pencil. And then this is the other bronzer that I was talking about. So this is the other Juvia's Place bronzer out of the Light Duo. This is the more warm one. And again, I've used this like three or four times because I started using it on the 4th of, no, no, no. I started using this on the 1st of July. So this one here, let's see here. So I don't have any, if I'm looking at the um, weights of this at the end of June, which would be the end of the quarter, I have no weight differences. So this just rolled in. And so I will see how hopefully we will have a very impressive pan on this on the next update. But again, I am just rolling this in to see if I can use this one up in the next six months. I have total faith in myself famous last words, but I am going to work on that bronzer. But as far as my comparisons and my weight, since I just rolled it in, there's not gonna be any difference on that one. But let's look at my other blush that is in for this project. And this is my Ofra Chiclet blush. It originally comes in a split pan. I ended up mixing mine together and frankening them, but look at that pan, beautiful. I don't think, because whenever I, I did my B-roll a couple days ago, I don't believe we had pan on this last time, but now we have that beautiful big pan. This is the blush that I have on my cheeks today. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love, love this color. So I have not been getting as much use out of this as I would want, mainly because I have a lot of blushes that roll into my Project 10 uses, but I was able to use 0.51, so half a gram over the last couple months, and that pan just keeps expanding. I'm hopeful that this will be an empty by the end of the year. If not, we are looking at a photo finish or maybe like a week or two into next January, this will be done. But I really do want to kind of buckle down and start focusing on this and maybe tell myself that it's okay to have my other blushes in my Project 10 uses for a little bit longer. Like I don't need to roll them out in a month. You know, I can have those in for a little bit longer and focus on this one a little bit more. But this is an absolutely gorgeous blush, gorgeous color. Again, I like it mixed more than I liked it as a split pan. And I will keep plugging away at this one. And I don't know, I might have all of the tracking on this blush since I first started using it. I'll have to go back and look. When did I actually buy this blush? I bought this blush in 2020. So I probably have a year of not tracking it. And then I have tracking starting in 2021. But that will give me a really good idea on how many uses it took me to use this blush up completely. But love that one. And then my next blush is... The numbers are going to be weird and the numbers are going to change because I ended up creating my pink slash red cream blush. This has a, the majority of the blush in here is the ColourPop blush stick in Pretty Thing. And this is our blush here. Um, let's see, let me give a swatch and actually get it to where it looks pretty. But that is our color right there. That beautiful, beautiful rose pink and wipe it on my pants like I do. And I do love this. Now I'm focusing on my brown cream blush in my deck of panning, and I'm also using another product in this project as a blush. So this is kind of fall into the back burner. There's no way that I'm gonna use up a whole container of cream blush this year. But I think I just want to hit pan. Like I want to focus on this. I want to see how much I can get. I'm constantly adding to my cream blushes. So, I mean, it's just, it's this is more or less a reminder for me to go ahead and get my cream blushes used up. But the difference this quarter is 6.03 grams. And that's because I took product out of this. So, the end of March, I had like 65 grams of this product. 
And then in April, I had 50 or yeah, 59.47. So I ended up taking part of this blush and using this as a base to create my brown blush. So that's why we have such a big change. But next quarter, we will have a more accurate um, kind of look. But I think historically, I have been using about a third of a gram of this blush per month. And so I'm just wanting to focus on this and get used. But yeah, there's no way I'm using up all of that by the end of the year. There is a lot of cream blush in there. But let's go on to something, another palette that got a little bit of a facelift um, starting um, at the beginning of this second quarter, and that is my Tarte Highlighting Palette. So if you guys caught my big highlighting repressing video, which I'll have it linked down below, I did repress all of my highlighters and then created um, custom shades in this palette. So at the beginning of April is when I kind of started the actual weight and tracking on this product. So that will give us our more, most accurate numbers because the palette uh, weight did change whenever I repressed everything into it. And I told you guys in my Project Pan video that I was going to repress the second shade in here, so I did. So my B-roll is going to show the big pan in the second shade, and then here we have it where I repressed it. So that second shade there used to have a humongous pan in there. I was having trouble getting my brush in there, so I did repress that one. But a little spoiler, um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but this one right here... I have a pan, a little tiny pan in that shade right there. So my goal overall for this product, and I have a dog hair stuck to me, story of my life, but I want to finish this pan this year, which again, that might be a lofty goal, but I want to get as much use as possible on this pan, and I want to hit pan on the other three shades. So I have already hit goal as of July 4th, I've hit goal on hitting pan. Now I'm just gonna expand that pan because I love these shades. I love that I was able to take highlighters in my collection that weren't working for me and create something that I am happy and excited about reaching for every single day. So hit pan on shade number three, I repressed shade number two, but if we're looking at our numbers over the last three months, I was able to use 1.09 grams. So I used a gram of highlighter in the last three months. That makes me very, very happy about the prospect of being able to hit my goal on this. But hopefully when we have our next update, I will have pan on all four of these shades because I'll hit pan again in this shade and I'll have pan on the other two and we'll expand the pan on this shade. But very exciting progress and a little sneak peek on that new pan for my project pan update that will go up in August. And I dented my nail polish opening that compact. So I'm trying to smooth it back down. I painted my nails. I'm, I have one coat black rolled into my Project 10 uses, and so I did this beautiful little ombre. It's very Halloween, but when you roll one coat black and you roll a black into <laughs> your Project 10 uses, you find creative ways to go ahead and paint your nails black. But let's see here. So we're rolling into our lip products. So the lipstick that I'm focusing on the most is my Marc Jacobs La Marc Cream lipstick in Infamous. And this is what I am using as a cream blush. I actually do have this on underneath Chiclet today as my cream blush. And we'll see a huge jump because I was struggling to reach for this product until I started using it as a cream blush. And now I'm down to this little tiny nub, little tiny nub. So we'll see big differences in my B-roll on this one. But in the last three months, I've been able to use 0 0.9, so almost a whole gram of this lipstick. And I don't anticipate this lasting me through August. Um, after I hit the, what I said in my project pan is after I hit the plastic, I'm going to consider this done. Now I will dig out the rest and create another cream blush with it, but I will be rolling that in as a blush product, not as a lipstick. So this will be my lipstick, lipstick empty once it hits the plastic. So 
I feel like that's coming very, very soon because using it as a cheek product uses a lot more product, but I'm super okay with that because that is my oldest lipstick and I'm ready for it to go. The next lipstick that I'm focusing on is from Hourglass, and it's one of their confession lipsticks. It's in If Only. It is very similar. Let me swatch these two next to each other because it's very similar to Infamous. So I've kind of had some trouble reaching for the two of them. I actually do have the Hourglass lipstick on my lips underneath that Lawless Gloss. So here is our two lipsticks, and this one here is infamous and then this one here is if only so they are very very similar and they look like little lungs look at that little lungs on my hand so those two there are very similar now i have had this as my purse lipstick and i have been wearing it but good lord this is like the never ending product it doesn't go down on my tracking it hardly goes down in weight but i am thrilled to have this and i'm happy to have the component because after this lipstick is gone i can pull this out and if i ever wanted to buy another confession lipstick i could just buy the refill and stick it in there so this one here in the last three months, I've only used 0.02. And like I said, I keep this in my purse. I'll apply this like twice a week whenever I'm like in the car and my lip product has worn off. I'll apply this in the car. It's even pretty decently down in the packaging. Like look, look how far down it is. But that's only 0.02. I don't know what's going on. Maybe my scale is off a little bit, but I am enjoying using this. I There's so little product in here. Like that's all there is. That's all the lipstick that there is. So I don't see it as a problem as me using this up, especially if Infamous is used up in the next couple months. I will go ahead and I'll kind of focus all of my efforts onto this one. So I don't see this as a problem because there's not a lot of product, but hey, if this is the never ending lipstick, I am not going to know what to do with myself. But this one here is not <laughs> the never ending lip product. And this is my Summer Fridays Butter Bomb in Vanilla Beige. And in my B roll, it's going to look a lot fuller because it was full of air. The other night, I kind of like tapped it way down and got all the air out. And it is down to there now. How in the heck? Like, it all of this was full of air and I thought I had a lot of product left. Nope. I just have this and now it's hard to get out. So now I feel like I, I have to put air back into it <laughs> to be able to get it out. But look at that huge jump. I feel like I was even marking it wrong because of the air that was in this, but it was in my project 10 uses. So that was, oh, where is it? That was the jump for the 10 uses. But I marked this at the end of June after I got all the air out of there. So this is almost done. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful product. I actually did purchased the other butter bomb in iced coffee because the I just the coffee scent on a lip product give me all of them. <laughs> the coffee is life. But this is a beautiful product. I love just reapplying this throughout the day. So I don't see this as a problem of this one being gone very very soon because this is what I reach for the most when I'm reapplying throughout the day. Um, so in the last three months, I have been able to use 3.69 grams of this product, and it shows because this thing is almost gone. Let's look at my other gloss, which I have rolled this one into my project pan, and this is the Sephora Gloss in Busy, just this beautiful, like, cool toned rosy shades. I do have my marks on the side. I think I've used this one one time since updating my project pan, so not a whole lot of change in the actual marks here, but we are at least halfway done with the product. We're halfway there. So this kind of gives me hope that in the next six months I will be able to make the same amount of progress and get this one used up. But in the last three months, I've used 0.53, so half a gram of product. This also did roll into my project 10 uses, and so that allowed me to get that 10 use on this. I think that was actually the biggest jump in our markings right there. Let me see, right there, our biggest jump. I think that was the project 10 use time period. But love this gloss. I actually just picked up another Sephora gloss because I really do. Ooh, dropping everything. I really do like that formula. So I picked up another one of those glosses. 
Then we have my ColourPop lip liner in O Snap. It is super tiny. And so this is where we are at on this product. Just a few more months and that thing will be gone. This is the only lip liner that I have on my radar to finish. I know it typically takes me like seven, eight months to go through one of the ColourPop lip liners. So I don't try to finish two in one, one year unless I'm really close to finishing the first one. But this will definitely be an empty. I love the ColourPop lip liners. I think they are great bang for their buck and great um, formula as well. And so we will keep working away at this little nub and get this used up. And like I said, follow along on my project pan because I'm guessing this will be done prior to our next update. So you guys will have the most accurate updates to this product during my regular project pans. Same thing with our eyeliner. So I do want to use up the Urban Decay. Oh, let me look at my numbers. I've used 1.33 grams of my lip liner in the last three months. And then for Urban Decay Vice, this is my eyeliner that I'm focusing on. And let's see. So we are all the way down to there. Ah, this is probably still going to be a photo finish at the end of the year. It's probably going to take me another six months to use up the rest of this, even though I let you guys know that anytime that I'm tight lining with this, I do sharpen it prior to tight lining just because the product has already pulled away from the wood component and I don't want to scratch my eyes when I'm tight lining. So I am sharpening this more often because I am tight lining with it. Um, but it is a beautiful pencil. Actually, right now, uh, Sephora has the Urban Decay liners 50% uh, off, and I'm trying to talk myself out of another liner, but I hate the Sephora Tiramisu liner, and so I want to pick up um, either, what is it? Is it Urban Decay? It's either, I know there's Whiskey. I finished one of those before, the brown, the Whiskey, or the Demolition. Is that the other one? Um, so I want to pick up one of those brown liners because I love the Urban Decay formula. So I'm trying to, maybe I will ma be making a Sephora purchase. We shall see. But I have used 0 0.51, so half a gram of this eyeliner up. And like I said, we are probably still looking at let me look back in my old spreadsheets and see if I have a weight on an empty Urban Decay liner. I think I do. Let me look. So I do have the measurements on an empty Urban Decay liner, but I don't have the weight. So if any of you have used up an Urban Decay liner this year and can weigh it, let me know what how much the empty Urban Decay liner weighs. Let me know that down below. You guys drop it. Because again, I, I want to see if it's taken me six months to use up, or taking me three months to use up 0.5, that means I'm doing about a gram every six months. If I have another gram to go on that product, then we might be able to see that as an empty for the end of the year. So that is my complete update for 24 in 2024. I feel like we're gonna have some really exciting empties and progress on our items during next update. So like I'm even getting excited about the next three months of this makeup use and getting these foundations done. But of course, make sure to check out my other projects. So my regular project rolling 10 pan for the year, which goes up on the 5th. And then of course my deck of panning that goes up on the 20th and then my project 10 uses that goes up on the 25th. Make sure to check all of those out so that you guys don't miss how I'm doing on a lot of these items. Also, I did just upload my mid-year inventory on the 1st of July, so I'll make sure to have that link down below as well if you guys want to see my full collection, what I've used up, where my numbers are, that is all in that video. I do want to do a little bit of a shout out in this video. I was watching as I was getting ready today with this eye look. I was watching Amy's channel. Her handle is Beauty and Beyond. She is a subscriber of my channel and she's so kind and always comments and I love our conversations. But it is her birthday today, I believe, the day that, no, this video was updated a day ago, so her birthday was yesterday. So happy birthday to Amy, and during her birthday month, she would like to hit 600 subscribers. She is almost there. 
So I kind of feel like I want to do the thing like so many other creators were so supportive of me whenever I was trying to hit my thousand that I feel like I want to give back. So usually I'm telling you guys what my goal is for my birthday month, but I want to help Amy hit her goal during her birthday month. So I'm gonna have her link down below. She just did an empties video and I love her content. She's so calming and she's just like a breath of fresh air in the beauty community. So she does the project panning stuff. She does the kind of conscious consumerism where she's wanting to use what's in her collection. So if you love what I'm doing, you will love what she's doing. Like I said, she's so close to her goal of 600. So let's go ahead and give her a beautiful birthday gift and go ahead and check her out and subscribe if you feel like you want that calming kind of person in your subscription feed as well. So that is my beautiful shout out to another beautiful creator in this space. But now I'm going to encourage you to do all the things on my channel. Go ahead and hit a thumbs up on this video. Let me know that you guys are enjoying my content. I do have a bonus video coming this month of a get ready with me. So be on the lookout for that one. Otherwise, my next video will be my buys and buys, which is my empties in my haul for the month of June. So all the plugs for all of my content, <laughs> but go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Again, I am also trying to hit a subscriber goal by my birthday in September. So thank you all of you for subscribing and helping to support me and this channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Go ahead and leave me that comment down below. Let me know how you're doing with your panning goals, any exciting empties. And then again, if you have emptied one of the Urban Decay liners, let me know how much they weigh. I am so curious, but I appreciate each and every one of you guys. It looks like the storm has rolled by and no more thunder, but we will go ahead and we'll get ready for the fireworks. So I'll be dosing the dogs with some Benadryl tonight. So happy 4th of July. Keep those fur children safe tonight during the fireworks. I appreciate all of you guys and I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll catch you in my next one.